Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome back to some EVE Online and in today's video I'm going to give you guys an update on the Orca build. So this is going to be phase 4 basically which is uh, building the Orca itself and getting the fittings there. Now I've already done a decent amount of this. Um, as you can see I'm also in detail at the moment so we'll need to jump clone but some interesting things have happened during this experience and I thought I would share with you guys uh, one uh, the, the biggest bottleneck um, does become time so we had this capital cargo bay blueprints and if I go into my third divisions I have another one ready because I want to build an extra um, an extra orca out here in detail as well so that I can move my third one into my Yona operations and as you can see here 38 runs for a capital cargo bay blueprint let's take a quick look if I can actually do the full manufacturing 38 yep, as you can see here it takes almost five days and that actually became a bottleneck um, when I was getting a lot of my titanium from purchases which of course doesn't take as long as doing everything in mining and so uh, one tip that I can give you guys is that you can um, basically cut these uh, big volume um, these, these large amounts uh, blueprint copies into smaller copies so that you can have multiple of them running at the same time that is going to save you a little bit of time on your uh, orca production another thing that we can notice right here is that while all of this was happening out here in detail i did a bit of research on the blueprint of the orca that i have here and as we can see here with six material efficiency which is not that difficult to get um, it's only 36 capital cargo base so you can cut down on the amount needed especially in the capital cargo base by doing material research which does make it worth it uh, to try and get that as high as possible and so if i want to make another orca here and i'm sure that i'll probably make a bpc set as well i think um, what i would do for this one when it comes to the copying i would just do six and six that'll give you uh, plenty of opportunity to have multiple of them running at the same time so let's get that job going as well um, i've made a few capital construction part blueprint copies that I'm actually planning to sell. Let's undock and let's get back to solitude because in my personal jobs you can see that the capital cargo blueprints are done. So I should be able to get started on the Orca back there. So now we gotta find our Astra Hoos. We're gonna dock there because it's only there that I've got uh, a clone facility. Then we'll jump clone, we'll make it, we'll take a quick look at the fit as well because one thing that I was uh, playing with was should I also basically have this guy replace my ice mining ship and I don't think so, I think the Machino is still better but we'll, we'll take a quick look at that so then I need to just leave my ship of course you have to be in your pot if you want to jump clone somewhere then we go for the character sheet you can see I can jump clone now um, Nibale is my base in solitude and we'll just jump over there which costs six, uh, zero isk it's an NPC station um, it's all a million isk if you're uh, jumping to uh, to a player owned facility or at least to mine and here we are ship hangar we can maybe actually we can maybe get into the machina that I still have hanging around here and um, next up of course we have to deliver the job so i did a little bit of mining i would say maybe 10 10 12 full machinas is what i mined the focus was on um the focus was on on tritanium and umber because my bottlenecks were tritanium pyrite and isogen and umber happens to just give you uh, tritanium pyrite and isogen so that was that was perfect i, I knew exactly how to go about this and of course the way i went with it because tritanium was the middle biggest bottleneck was Velspar um, then Velspar crystal I was for my final runs because I, I had everything else but one Velspar one Umber and then put the drones on more Velspar and that was running pretty well um, so there are ways of basically if you want to do the mining yourself of uh, focusing on the right minerals yourself just depending on the crystals you're using and where you're putting your drones on but with that delivered right yeah that's delivered i should be able to get this up and running and for some reason it's not gonna let me currently do not support oh that's because it's on, on copies 
there we go we have to go for industry so we have 38 capital cargo base which i can reduce to 36 with just a bit of research we can probably go down to less to 34 33 maybe um, so seven capital compute uh, computer systems and then we've got 16 construction parts and there you go you can see i've got the whole set of that and it's going to take another 12 days to produce this orca that's quite a bit longer than i thought uh, but uh, with uh, with uh, without any time efficiency it is going to take quite a long time but 9 million isk that's definitely okay not too much manufacturing happening here in nepal it seems so let's get started there we go the orca is now inbuilt which is really good of course and then for the fittings uh, i'm going to mirror the fit basically that i'm using in detail as well so i have that saved around here somewhere oh, happen to have it ready because i actually brought some stuff over so this was like a transport orca built but here we go this is what i would go for if you have uh, an orca yourself so uh, for the yield of course we have two large drone mining augmenter twos and that's very important and then a take one large drone mining augmenter all of this is for the yield and this is basically you can't put three take twos because of the calibration here you're limited by 400 calibration on the rigs then in the low slot you take reinforced bulkhead and a damage control of course everything else basically goes to tank here so i have a caldari navy large shield extender um, i think it's okay to go with some faction items on something like an orca then we have a gist a type em ward for minus 60 percent damage resistance a gist a type thermal dissipation field and then two adaptive invulnerability fields which i think become very expensive if you want to upgrade that to some more faction stuff but that's up to you to decide but with this kind, uh, these kinds of resistances, if everything is running, including your own boost, I think you can get 450, uh, 450,000 HP or something like that. Then uh, you have room for three uh, mining birds, which is pretty good, of course. So if you do run with a fleet, um, you could go for mining uh, full full mining bonuses. On my Detail Orca, I actually switched this out to two um, shield um boosters so that i can increase the resistance and my amount of hp which again helps with the tank and the tank of of uh, of the people that i'm actively boosting that are in fleet so it's pretty good i'm not sure why i have a cloaking device in here but since you can't fit it why not put that in a high slot and you could go for uh, drone range augmenters but to be honest if you're mining in an orca you're mining as close as possible to your targets anyway now my my question is uh, does this help with um, ice mining as well? Ship mining drone yield at the expense. Let's take a look at the attributes. Just mining amount 10%. Rate of fire bonus 10%. Oh, maybe. Maybe with the rate of fire bonus. I'm not exactly sure. But I, I honestly don't think so. And so um, the Orca also is also limited to one. Um, ice mining drones so if i go for the ice mining drones augmented ice harvesting drone i think is what i need um attributes it's also at uh, 50 i think yeah 50 megabit per second which is the maximum and so this is this is basically all you can do in a single orca when it comes to ice mining and activation time is like 280 seconds it, it will get cut down because of the ship bonuses i'm just not sure if the rigs are actually going to help and that's really all you can handle and so let's take a look at my machina here show info um, can it also use yeah it actually has 50 megabits as well so you could actually replace your five which i'm going to do replace your five uh, mining drones with a ice mining drone and then of course because you can get everything up and running which i think i have here let's go for the actual bolt here um, so we can we can refit this one for ice harvesting which is something that i have out here ice harvesting then we can get rid of all of the yield increases and we can put up some ice harvester stuff and i think we can put up a little bit of extra tank no we can't with this but of course i can also grab an ice mining drone in the drone bay instead of these five 
which we'll do. I'll actually put all of this in the item hanger since we're going to do the actual mining with the ore cap from now on. And uh, that is of course a lot better because you have the two ice harvesters extra on top of the uh, extra ice mining drone. Although, of course, the ice mining drone in the Orca will get a nice boost to that. I still think uh, that in total the, um, the, 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 the Machina will come out on top when it comes to ice mining itself. It still has a decent hold as well for 35 pieces. So I actually think that this will be better. That's basically my next plan. Uh, uh, we're going to check this out. This is a very, I'm not sure what this is. Oh, ice mining harvest accelerator one. Okay, this is actually a very, very old uh, machina that I still have here, which uh, I put here mostly for ice mining, but you can see that I had to uh, convert that to some ore mining as well from time to time. So it's definitely not the best situation, but with the Orca inbuilt, I can basically focus this guy fully on ice mining because there are ice bells out here in Nepala. Let's maybe quickly go and take a look at those if there's any up and running. Um, and then I have the Orca for the actual ore mining if I need to do that, which I still feel for solo players um, is probably better. Let's see if we can find some blue ice belt right there. So like that, I could run this with both the ice harvesters and an, um, and an extra drone here. I definitely feel that this is going to beat out the, uh, the Orca who can only use one ice mining drone. Uh, maybe it'll be pretty close if uh, if the rigs give bonuses because it's the exact same situation uh, when when you use um, when you're using the uh, the mining drone. So we'll we'll have to take a look at that when the orca gets built. We'll actually grab one of those uh, best uh, ice mining drones, which I can actually grab. So the augmented ones, which I can use, and then we'll see if the the rates. Uh, compare or not but that's going to be the next set of operations here you can clearly see that uh, there's actually I think up to four belts running here in Tital and uh, I think I'm going to basically use the Machina for the ice mining and then the Orca for the ore mining uh, why do I also think that this is uh, not a bad idea because this is an unusually low amount of people mining the ice here uh, in general, we get to see a lot more of them and these bells get uh, eaten up very quickly and actually getting a bit of a faster ship and machina here to do that ice mining uh, will actually make more sense than probably the slower but bigger cargo uh, hold um, orca. On top of that, you can also clearly see a big difference between uh, the ice fields and the ore belts is that the ice chunks of ice are, are very far away from each other compared to uh, to stuff in the ore belt and so the longer range of course which is 10 kilometers for the ice harvester too um, are going to allow me to get more of them in range do very little traveling so i don't even need to do any traveling to get these two that's going to be a full machina without any problem whereas an orca right i would want to park my orca as close as possible to this one and while i would be doing that the ice mining drone would not be working optimally would have a much lower yield but the worst part is if i actually manage to finish one ice chunk i'll then have to move my orca all the way to the next ice chunk as well another 10 kilometers to travel very slowly in that tanked orca um, and in the meantime again the ice mining drone is not going to work optimally so i actually really feel like the the machina is the right solution for ice mining because you can basically take your time and just see the ice mining drone as a bit of a bonus on top of what is really bringing you the ice which is the ice harvesters and uh, with the orca you want that in a belt because you can put yourself right in the belt and then just start mining all of the asteroids around you and as you deplete them uh, we, I've actually found that you can move your orca in the belt very slowly methodically and then clean up the belt at maximum efficiency uh, which is very close to a max yield machina but with longer staying power and more tank and so that's that's the plan we're going to fully convert this little guy to an ice miner and then the orca is going to become the ore miner it's in build now and i actually have the rigs already moved in here i actually have a lot of stuff of stuff but i have five augmented mining drones ready here i also have the rigs ready and i have uh, the tanking uh, modules ready as well 
uh, in order to uh, this is probably not what I need no that's that's more armor stuff but yeah basically I also moved my fittings here which I did in the interceptor basically took one trip for the uh, for the rigs and the tanking modules that I felt were most important then we'll we'll uh, have to maybe upgrade that a little bit later on but for now it's looking pretty good and uh, that's the update for this one guys thank you very much for watching and i'll see you all next time